it was a surreal experience um, because as a kid, Olympics was like a huge event, huge TV event, something you always dream about being a part of. But as a tennis player, there was basically in your thought process, oh, you know, there was no tennis. So I'd like to think the whole 17 days was a surreal experience. And just getting to walk in, in the stadium and be a part of other athletes and uh, was an amazing feeling. Um, to me, just the coolest thing is you, you never hear your name. It's Game USA, you know, Game the Other Country, and you're wearing a USA uh, jacket. I, I didn't think about the whole medal process. There are so many other athletes from sports that this is it, you know, this is their journey. And, you know, they spent their life for this. I mean, as a tennis player, we do have next week. There's not a lot of other uh, Olympic sports where, geez, next week there's another competition. You know, I got to play Bear C. And so I didn't think about it other than, you know what, I'll just play one match at a time and grind away. The, my tennis actually at that point was it kind of in a was in the dumper because I was coming back from ankle surgery I was struggling and I, my movement wasn't what it was and I just you, you know just my confidence was a little low so that that event did give me a lot of confidence and I got to the semifinals and I, I was thinking you know what I can win this thing I and and I and I think I made myself a little bit of tight I lost the Mayotte and, and, and you know I ended up getting a bronze so I was happy about it but yet I felt like I missed an opportunity. It didn't really hit me until I was on the stand. Um, and I actually, for a moment, you know, my only regret of my career, my only regret. And I still think about it that if I could just change one result, because uh, the craziest thing was I lost to Mayotte in the semis. Mayotte got the, the silver and Mature got the gold. Three or four weeks later, I beat them in back-to-back -back rounds in Bear Sea. Something uh, that, that I'll never forget, it was, you know, maybe my um, most enjoyable 17 days of my career. Um, it was only topped by Andre's experience of winning the gold in 96 because that was my biggest regret as a tennis player. And I told Andre, because he asked me about that, and I said, you know what? If you can win the Olympics, you know, something that you will cherish forever. And so he made that his mission to win in 96. So those are my maybe my two top moments in tennis. I, I got a great chance to play 13 years. I got a chance to coach. I've got a lot of chances to do things in tennis. That's just one of those things that's in the memory bank that was one of the most memorable. I've got a chance to, to be with Andre when he won in 96. Got a chance to be with Roddick in 2-4. Uh, Olympic experience is an amazing thing. Treat it like it's the most important tournament in the world and embrace the experience. One of the things that I'll never forget was the experience of walking with all of the athletes around the track. Had to wait three hours like for us to be the, like the last one called and you know we're in the U's or whatever so it was like yeah it was amazing experience. And, and you know what? Stay in the village. You know, it's not you're going to be your usual, what you're used to, but you know what? Embrace the experience. There was like all the tennis players, the guys and the girls, we all stayed together. So we were in a co-ed one. It was, it was a unique experience stay, staying with Pam and, and Zena, uh, Marty Reese and Gorman, the coaches. Uh, I stayed with Ken Flack. One of the great things that I really enjoyed in Seoul was I got a bike, you know, because you could go all around the village. Ended up at the, at the end of it getting my bike stolen. I forgot to lock it. I went to every event possible. If I wasn't playing, I went. And, I, you know, I've been really blessed and fortunate just to be involved in tennis this long. One of the coolest things that I ever got to do in my whole life, in 96, when the Olympic torch went through San Francisco, I got to run the last leg up the Justin Herman Plaza. There was about 50,000 people. I got to light the cauldron. So I have those two proudly in my bar. I look at it all the time. I call, I have a big penny at home. <laughs>